What's up guys, I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how I edit my videos in LumaFusion. Let's get into it. I'm just gonna kinda of take y'all through my process in making a video. Um, this video I shot a few days ago and I've actually already gone through and um, cut it together. A little bit um, I tried to cut it down to just be the parts that I'm actually going to use in the actual video um, I just did that because it's pretty time-consuming and I can show you all how I cut it just I didn't want to show you that many of them anyway so so all that being said the first thing that I do and I, I would definitely recommend starting with this um, is color grading and doing like adjusting the audio and the reason you want to do this first is because um if you drop your main footage like say this is the talking head shot of me and i drop that in my timeline and i go in and i do the grading and i do the audio for it afterwards as i go and cut that clip up it's going to keep that sound in that grading throughout the entirety of the video and i think that's the best place to start because otherwise you're gonna have to go in and add that grading in that sound to the rest of the clips that you cut so I've already cut up this video and I actually already graded it so I de like took the grading and stuff off this first one so I can show you how I grade it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you got like these four different options this one all the way to the right is your grading option and I actually will typically just come into this original one um, one of the first things I do is I feel like the shot how I get it straight out of the M50 is a little bit like it's lacking some contrast um, but I actually prefer to go down here to this gamma one and you could do the same thing with the contrast and I put it somewhere like 15 to 20 something like that just to kind of make it pop a little more and then I come up here I like to turn the shadows all the way down um, which kind of makes it look a little more contrasty um, and then I like to I typically turn the vibrance down a little bit um, just to kind of I don't know to me I like I like how it looks a little more washed out like that um, and then I come here um, and I always feel like there's a little too much green so I something like that and then I take the reds out about like that and then I usually boost the blues not to eight usually <laughs> not like that either not <laughs> you know I just love it when it looks yellow the whole thing you know <laughs> anyway, but I usually put it somewhere around like not man. It keeps doing that anyway um, Somewhere around there 105 and this is Basically that this is really similar to what I did for the rest of it um, So I do that Get your shot looking the way you want it. Um, something else I've been doing is most of these LUTs don't look very nice I, and I haven't gotten much from anywhere else, but I do like this modern vintage. So I've been putting that on and dialing it to about like 80%, something like that. So it doesn't do a whole lot, but I, I like how it looks. I feel like it adds a little something to it. Um, okay, so that's how, I, that's how I get my image the way I want it. Um, the next thing I do is I come in here and mess with the audio. And typically, I, I wish... I wish that LumaFusion had like better audio um, controls and stuff. Um, but what I typically do is just do a low pass filter. And I, I just take some of the some of the highs out because some sometimes with the setup with the M50, there's a little bit of a, of a like a buzz in the audio. And then on top of that, I feel like the highs are just a little harsh. So I'll, I'll just take some of this back a little bit and I'll take this where the resonance is a little deeper and 
What's up, guys? I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome to the channel. Today, and you get something I'm like that. Share some of my favorite apps with you guys. So let's get into it. If one of my lights just went out, you're stuck with this light. It makes me look pink. That's why I put the second one here. But anyway, <laughs> but um, okay. So the audio. What's up, guys? I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want. To so that's what it sounds like with them on. If you want to turn anything off, you can just click right here and it's the same with the the um anything visual you just click on the eye so you can see that's so that's with none of the stuff that i did and then this is with everything that i did um so here's the this is with the audio so i have it turned off What's up guys, I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to share some of my favorite apps with you guys. Let's get into it. I actually feel like I took too much out of that. Too many of the highs out. So we're gonna add a little bit back in and see how that sounds. What's up guys, I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to share some of my favorite apps with you guys. Let's get into it. There we it. go, that's good. Um, and I'll boost the volume a little bit after. Um, but I just want it to be like a clean sound. So that's so that's pretty much how I do it. Um, just for the sake of everything being the same, I'm gonna copy what I did before and add it to this one. Um, and if you want to copy what you've done from one video clip to another, all you do is you click that clip to where it's like the shows the white, and then you clip. E e you click on the clipboard and then you just press copy and then you can come over here clip <laughs> click on the clipboard again and press paste and then that gives you the same um you know the same effects that you had on that one on this one and it copies and it copies most things it's going to copy your LUTs and your like what you did to the like um how you edited the, the colors and stuff in the video. And it's also gonna copy your, what you did to the sound in the video. So, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, the next thing I was thinking, let's see, I, I have a list of things just to make sure I hit all the points. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, well, I guess I'm just gonna show you guys how to cut video and stuff because I, I've already gone through and cut this stuff but basically this blue line is gonna do is is where it's gonna like do everything at um i know a lot of other video editing programs you can kind of click around to make that point wherever you want it but in LumaFusion, it stays put right here in the middle of your video um in the middle of the screen and then you can move everything around it to have it where you want it and basically all you do if you want to cut something is you come down here and you cut um, and then you have these arrows and you can drag it. Well, it's not doing what I wanted to do. You can grab it and, you know, move it forward and backwards. Um, so that comes in handy. Um, and, and then you can undo everything. You have these two buttons here. Um, so that's how you cut video. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys next is, um, and basically these forward and backwards, if you press forward once, it's going to skip to the next, to the end of the clip that you're currently on. And then if you click it twice, it skips all the way to the very end of all the clips that you have currently. Um, same thing with going back to the beginning. But the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to add my... Um, my intro to the video so basically you can come in here up here is where you you can get all the files that you're going to use making your videos so um i have my intro saved in my pictures um and actually just like i've been using the photos app um for for my storage for a while now obviously they have the filing system now so you can do that i just got in the habit of using this one because it's just what i always used so this is my intro um 
And because the line was right here, I just dropped that in. So, um, and what I do is actually put the audio on this. It's that's why it's like, um, longer. You see, I've only used like six seconds of it. And the reason for that is it's just black screen with audio for the rest of it. Um, but what I do is I click this button right here. And what this does is it separates the audio from the video. So I click that and now you can see it's separated. Um, so that's the music that plays for my intro. And what I do <clears throat> is go right here and I just drag it all the way to the beginning. And what that does, I need to drop the volume a little bit here to make it work right. But what that does What's up, guys? I'm Joel Dodge. Welcome it to the channel. It puts the, the Today, music behind the intro. Share some of my favorite apps with you guys. Let's get into it. And there you go. So, um, so that's how I do my intro thing into it, and um, and that's something I've learned just in this whole process of video editing and stuff. Is the more things you can do in advance to make them easier for for you to do during the editing process. Like with this, I don't that's the intro is already done, you know, and I don't have to do anything else, um, for it. And that just, that just saves me a lot of time, you know, every time that I do this. Um, and what I do is I, I just, I do this, the intro just for the whole, um, till it's done playing. And then what I'll do is I'll come in and add audio, like continue the music going after this. Um, but that's how it goes. And when I made this clip, I had the audio fade in and out. So typically it does a pretty good job of let's get into it. increasing the volume once the intro starts. So, um, so guys, before we get into it, I've already made a video. Of okay. So that's how I do that. Um, and at this point, it's really just going through and adding the B roll. Um, and I actually made an album just for this video so um so this is a bunch of b-roll that i went and grabbed um before i started filming just so that i could uh just so it'd be a little quicker for me to do this so um so basically this video is me talking about app like my favorite apps on the it's iPad favorites. So that being said, let's get into it. So guys, the first app I want to tell you guys about is LumaFusion and it's a video. It's the one I'm showing you right now. Um, okay. So, so what I do is I want it to come, I want it to cut to B roll of LumaFusion, like immediately after I say LumaFusion. Um, so I'm going to come here and basically <clears throat> once you click on one of these files in the left side here, it becomes what's in this screen. And what's cool about it is you can look at what's what it is in here. Um, and then you can move these yellow brackets to exactly the part of the video that you want it to, of that clip that you want to drop into your timeline. Um, so I want it to be um, something like that. Um, of me working in Loom Fusion, and I'm just gonna drop that in. It's gonna drop, like I said before, exactly where that blue line is. Um, and then what you can do is you can just lift it up, and then that makes it over, go over the top. And I have the video turned off. Well, I'm gonna keep the audio off because I don't want noise from these B-roll shots. Um, but so now we can see how that. I want to tell you guys about is LumaFusion and it's a video editing app and it works great. It it doesn't have any problems cutting and dragging and moving footage around. Um, I've actually used this app for... Okay, so something else that I do is I, I, I say a lot of ums and things that nobody wants to hear. <laughs> so um, what I like to do is actually go like when I put... A, like a clip over that I'll come back and just cut out a lot of that extra stuff and because you're not actually seeing me it you know you, it's not going to bother you like all the jumps and cuts so I'm definitely going to shorten this one up um 
and come through here and cut some of this up. But in general, that's, um, that works for me. So like, I like, I like it to come in right after. As about is Lumafusion and it's a video editing app. And actually he thinks I'm going to push that back just a little. Um, let's see how that as about is Lumafusion and it's a video editing app. Okay. And I put it too far back. Um, let's put it a little further up. Lumafusion and it's a video editing app and I might have had it perfect at first. I would go mess around with something. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this is. Is Lumafusion and it's a video editing app and it works great. It it doesn't have any problems cutting and dragging and moving footage around. Okay. So just for the sake of time, I'll I'll come back and do all that cutting later. Um but basically that's how you can go here and add like footage to um to your video um let's see the last thing i wanted to show y'all is um actually i need to go to a different album for this it's going to be roll album um so i wanted to show y'all this real quick this is this is typically what I've been using as the final shot in my videos. Um, but I wanted to show you all this real quick is that um, you can change the speed that the video plays. And something that's really cool is that LumaFusion reads what time, like how many frames per second the, the video clip you're adding has or like that you're looking at in this. And then it, it gives you a marker where this clip is going to like ideally match your timeline. So I wanted to show y'all this one because this clip that this, this footage right here, I shot it in 60 frames a second and this is 24 frames per second timeline. So it, what it does is it puts this mark over here so that you can see, um, that ideally it'd be like 0.4 times slower and that 60 frames per second is going to drop perfectly with the 24 frames per second timeline. So that's something cool. And that's something that I didn't realize when I first started editing videos is you're going to want to pay attention to your frame rates and them like actually flowing with the, like with what your timeline is. Um, and so I typically use 24 frames a second. Um, but of course you can use other frame rates. Um, but now this is, this 60 frames is slowed down to be like a 24 frames per second timeline. And there's a bunch of random noise. <laughs> I need to mute this clip. Anyway, um, so those are some of the basics of video editing in LumaFusion. In the future, I, I do plan on making a video of showing y'all what I use uh, to make videos, like show y'all my camera, the M50 and my different lenses and what I use to get audio and all that stuff. And also plan on making a, a, like a video of how to make lyric videos in LumaFusion. So if you haven't already and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe so that you can keep watching more videos that I make. And, uh, but that's, that's it. <laughs> As always, die empty. I'll catch you in the next one.